According to reports, Wendy Williams' son, Kevin Jr., gave his mom some tough love. Apparently, a source close to the family claimed uh, Wendy's relationship with Kevin Jr. has been strained, and he gave her an ultimatum. He told her he won't be in her life unless she fixes herself. The source also said the relationship has been really rocky for years, and uh, he's been giving her tough love. Um, <sighs> Wendy, what are your thoughts on Wendy's son saying this and, and putting this out there that, you know, basically get it together I'm, or I'm not going to be here for you? Well, listen, yeah. you know, catch these teas. What's for her to get together? I thought she was out because she had early onset dementia and lymphedema. You see what I'm saying? That's why I all and, and COVID. She, you know what I'm saying? Like I first it was COVID, then it was her lymphedema acted up, then it was early onset dementia, then she's in the in the in the in the house in the Graves disease as well. The, the Graves disease acting mm-hmm. up. Your son doesn't give you an automate an automatum for Graves disease. You have no control over that. Your son doesn't give you an ultimatum over lymphedema. You know, I always thought from the beginning, and I don't want it to be true but that Wendy had relapsed. And I'm sorry, I read the article and, you know, alcohol, alcohol is a pretty uh, way to wrap it up. Cause, oh, alcohol abuse, everybody got alcohol abuse or whatever, whatever. But I honestly feel as if Wendy was coming unraveled as, of that stu- as a result of that stuff with Kevin and Sharina. And she went back to her old ways. And I think that is what I have watched enough intervention on a and e <laughs> to know what it is when your loved ones give you that ultimatum. And that's because Wendy has fallen on oh, so damn lymphedema. Makes sense. <laughs> Al, what do you think about this? You know, this woman has talked about me for 20 years. She has held her foot on my neck for years. But I have to tell you, I, I, I guess I just have a soft spot in my heart because she never had one for me. This is heartbreaking. You know, this is just heartbreaking to me. And it's very telling because uh, little Kevin took the side of his mother when the divorce happened with big Kevin. Remember, they got into that altercation because he said, little Kevin said, you're mistreating my mother. So we know it has nothing to do with that. I, it's, this is just, to me, it's, it's a telltale that we don't need to know what she's going through because obviously we know what she's going through. Um, and it's just sad. This is just so sad to me that your only son, the only person that you got left in your family, your mother's gone, right? You, you know, your husband's gone with another woman. The only person that you have left is now saying, mom, either you get it together or I'm leaving too, which leaves her all by herself. Now, the compassionate side of me does say Wendy has gone through divorce. She's gone through the death of her mother. She's battling whatever disease she claims she has. She needs to take this time off and she needs to recalibrate so that, you know, she can come back and she needs to make sure that she keeps her son in her, in her life. So she got to fix this. What a devastating couple of years for Wendy, though. Yeah. I mean, that would yeah. break the the average person. I mean, and didn't have to have live this out loud in front of everybody to comment right. on and laugh at and be like, well, that's what you get for you talking about people. But that's her job. She lost her husband. She lost her. She's losing her show as we speak. Every All her friends are gunning to take her place and publicly tweeting about pick me to be on your show. And like everyone mm-hmm. wants it, wants her job. And then some of them are doing good jobs at it. Listen, y'all. I'm not. I'm not doing the. Poor, I'm not doing the poor Wendy thing with y'all. Um, Wendy ain't. Wendy ain't went through nothing that ain't no other uh, grown person has gone through. Marriage is in. I'm an orphan. I lost. I lost both of my parents by the time I was 36 years old. Okay. Um, and I'm surviving, and I ain't got no man, and, and, and ain't had one since I was 23. Okay? You got plenty of gentlemen you know callers. Cut so it like, out. You get no sympathy you know, either. You know, pe- you- people get people get heartbroken and cheated on every day of the week. Parents die every day of the week. Now, don't get me right. wrong; some of us handle it otherwise, but regardless of those situations, Wendy has a problem that exists independent of her divorce. And her mama dying. And it's just unfortunate that she's tarnished her entire legacy overnight with this BS. People do go through those things every day, but we're not even close to how the level of fame, the level of trolls that come for her neck every day. And I'm, I think she reads it. And mm. I don't know. I still feel bad for her. I still feel bad for her. Wendy has been in this business long enough to know how to cope. You can't tell someone how to cope, though. You've been in the business long enough to know how to cope. 